Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. I don't have to say this to you because we know there was an ammo shortage that was as bad as any that we have seen in our lifetime. But I'm going to say it anyways. The ammo crisis that we had just experienced was horrible. And there are many reasons why there was such a shortage and the prices were sky high and it was a terrible time in our history in terms of ammo. Why was it like that? Well, we saw an increase to gun buyers. We saw Remington go bankrupt and they shut down their ammo plants. We saw the COVID shutdowns, which then led to employee shortages and a complete shutdown of these ammo factories, along with supply chain issues, import issues. We saw the government buying up millions of rounds. And then we saw uh, scalpers and resellers play a major role in this as well. And all that added up to a terrible ammo shortage. And what does it mean when there's a shortage? Supply and demand. Increase in prices. And they did. They skyrocketed. And most ammo was very hard to get. And they left shooters in a position where we just weren't shooting. We saw ranges that were empty. We saw uh, ranges suffer financial losses as well as people that train for a living. They, they, they trained shooters to become more proficient. They had terrible losses. And then we had just a boring time where we just sat around and complained about how we can't get the ammo we need. Well, this is kind of turned around a little bit. And one of the reasons is that these ammunition manufacturers went full scale in working 24 seven to get ammo back on the shelves. Another issue is that we saw the, some of the online stores charge outrageous prices, like cheaper than dirt, you know, just taking advantage of the situation. I understand they're purchasing more and, and for an increased price, but there were some that were just outrageous. But you look at Remington, they were bought by Vista Outdoors and they produced Federal, Remington, a CCI and Blazer. They did a great job. You look at uh, Winchester and Fiocchi and Magtech and Aguila, Arms Corps, PMC. The, these companies started putting out ammo. And so what is the result? Where are we now? Well, in terms of handgun, I believe most ammo has come back. Now, at one point, you know, 9 millimeter, a box of 50 would cost you 40 bucks. A box of 45 would be in the 60s. That has come down in price. And it's certainly nice to see, and it's a, it's a welcome change because it was outrageously expensive. We saw a lot of people hoarding their ammo, and people in the gun world were upset by that. They say, you know, these hoarders are killing us. It's not the hoarders that are killing us. I think to a degree, we all should be hoarding supplies in a just-in-case moment like we just experienced. But you saw the, 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 the riots and... The, the fear of COVID and everything else, it created people to, to have the mindset to say, you know what, I'm just going to hold on to this because I can see the direction this is going. And that's good insight. However, ammo prices have dropped. They've dropped pretty significantly. And I'm pretty happy about that. I'm very happy about that because every time I am in a gun store or a place that sells ammo, I am seeing shelves that are stocked. Now, when ammo started coming back, it was still expensive, and then very slowly, it's been dropping. And we still had those calibers, like hunting rounds, some shotgun loads. Precision rifle ammo was very difficult. You couldn't find that anywhere. You look at uh, 40 Smith & Wesson was near impossible. Yes, 40 still a big deal. It may not be for you, but it is for a lot of people. Uh, 410 shot shells, near impossible. Those are all back. Yes, a little bit elevated prices, but they are available. So we went through a time when nothing was available to a time now where it is available and it's a little bit more expensive. But I will tell you, just yesterday, I was sighting in a couple red dots on pistols and I picked up this stuff called Midwest ammunition. This is remanufactured ammunition. And that's another thing we saw. People got into the business of remanufacturing and they created 
a, a legitimate business where they were re manufacturing ammo. They got the supplies and the machinery and the workforce to make this happen. And, and that certainly helped. So you've got a, a whole series of things that took place that I think we owe a debt of gratitude to these manufacturers who are making things happen behind the scenes. They've been hit too with raw material shortages and labor shortages that put them back. And we, as a gun community, can't get what we want, so therefore we, we complain and say, it's all their fault. It's all the fault of the people that are selling us the ammo. When in fact, this crisis was a buildup, and it turned out to be the perfect storm that, that really hurt the gun community in a big way. And many people lost their businesses because of it. So if you didn't lose your business, and you paid more for ammo, which you did, then you're still okay. Ammo is back now. It's not where it once was. I don't know that it'll, it will ever be. You look at the raw material cost and some of the stuff that needs to be imported in. You know, it, it's going to be more expensive. And, and then on top of that, we have Biden's inflation that's taken effect. But where I have seen and I'm not going to be so naive to say that we're, what I have seen is the same thing what you have seen, because I know many of the states vary, but what I have seen are stock shelves, and that is a good thing. I'm seeing people go shoot their guns. I'm, I'm still seeing some of the things that we used to see back before the shortage, where, where people were training again, or and that people are going through drills and doing things that they've always wanted to do, but couldn't do it because it was too expensive. So I think the light is at the end of the tunnel. We had a point where ammo was not available at all, then a point where ammo was available, but it was outrageously priced. And it's like, it's like uh, gas, you know, it, it goes down very slowly, skyrockets, then goes down very slowly. But now we're starting to see prices that are way more affordable, makes it fun to get out and shoot again. So I encourage you to take another look. If you're the type of person that kind of sheltered yourself away from shooting and the ammo thing, because you were fed up and sick of what was going on, it's available now, from what I can see, and even online, ammo is out there, and it's time to take advantage, have some fun, and replenish some of that supply that you shot up during the crisis, because you never know when this could happen again. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.